Hi everyone, and welcome to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. Today, we're gonna go through five main tips to obtain the maximum from your CD, from your CD player. I know this is an analog channel, but as you know, every once in a while, I like to do something on digital in order to enhance that playback, the, the quality of the sound, even though we're talking about the cold digital files. Wanna know how? Let's take a look. Go! Okay, so um, obviously the best thing to do, apart from the things I'm going to tell you in a while, is to buy a good CD player and obviously a good receiver and a good pair of loudspeakers. That is obvious. So apart from that, obviously, we're going to try to analyze five main tips that are worth following in order to achieve um, a high quality in the playback of your digital music, mainly CDs, but also super audio CDs, DVD audios, everything that is on a spinning disc. So let's start uh, again from obvious things, but I, I think it's worth um, uh, mentioning this. So the first thing I want to suggest is to buy a good pair, buy or make, as you know, I highly suggest to do your own cables. Uh, here's a link of uh, the cables I've, I've done and how, how you're supposed to make them and which materials to use. So the first tip is to try to buy or make your high quality interconnects to connect the CD player to the receiver. With this, the quality will be greatly enhanced. I know a lot of you are skeptic on this. I highly suggest to try to insert something like this in your chain. So let's proceed though. Um, another important Part, another important aspect related to good quality, high fidelity in the CD playback is to have something to um, dampen or reduce vibrations. That is very important. Um, uh, I did a video on this, here's a link, and I, for example, suggested to put something like this underneath every, every, anything actually that can generate some vibrations, especially a CD player. These are vibropods, are called vibropods. This is just simple vinyl. And if you put these beneath your, um, the feet of your CD player, you will already have some benefits. Although I suggest to go a little more further and try to detach uh, the little feet you have on your CD player. You, they usually come with this little crappy um, type of, uh, of feet, I, I can't stand them. They just have a little bit of rubber here, and and the whole um, vibration issue is completely uh, relegated to these guys. And I think it's this a really bad decision. I mean, you can keep them on if they're um, permanently attached and put something like this, for example. Otherwise, something I suggest to do, and maybe you saw this when you look, take, took a look at my um, room tour, I suggest to uh, somehow install uh, a spike. Put four or even three if you want, but it's better four because you have four feet, which I suggest to detach, unscrew, and insert four spikes. Um, not like this one, I don't have an example here. Uh, you need something with a flat support, okay? Uh, just like this. Precisely, I'll put an image here on the, the one I'm, I'm trying to explain, um, which has a flat surface. And what you're going to do on that flat surface, you're going to add something like this. Very easy to find on Amazon, for example. These are like little felt mats, um, which are have a double layer on each side of um, of tape of, of of glue. You just peel them off. One side goes on the spike, one side goes on the CD player. And at that point, you're going to automatically enhance, greatly enhance the, uh, the, the quality of the playback because you're going to greatly reduce the vibrations issue that these, this type of uh, gear of this machine does have. So uh, this is, a, I think it's, it's a very important point, although, as I said, I already discussed this in another video. So this was our second point. Let's go now to our third point which gets a little more interesting. 
The best point is going to be the fifth. So try to stick around all the way to the end of this video. So the third point, my, which is more maybe a maintenance uh, suggestion, is something like this. Um, sorry about the crack, but um, the important part is what's inside here. This is a CD lens cleaner. Actually, it's the CDL 07 by Nagaoka. Um, this may be kind of expensive, uh, but maybe you can find it around. Obviously, do not buy it used. You need to buy this new and you need to keep it in excellent, optimal condition. Unfortunately, I, mine had some problems. I'm not using it anymore because it was out and about, unfortunately. But if you buy it, do keep it in your jewel case, protected, because it's very important to, um, uh, to keep it clean. What is this? Well, as you can see, maybe, there is a little teeny brush here on the CD. And uh, this is supposed to clean off the dirt that um, deposits on the lens that reads your CD player. And I must say that when I was using this every once in a while, I did hear some benefits. Nothing incredible, but it does help, especially if you're using a top loader, a CD transport, which is uh, which, which you load on top and then you clamp. That's very useful because then you have much more dirt, much more filth of the of the air depositing on the different parts inside of, of your CD. So, absolutely, this is a, a a good point to keep in mind. Okay, let's proceed to our fourth point which is dedicated to um, something I have already discussed in another video, which is um, uh, electrostatic. Everything that is electric static control. Um, here's a link. And um, as you may recall, there are different solutions, but those were for vinyl. Those were ex dedicated to the turntable. Now we're talking about CDs. Um, and this is a cool little gadget I bought uh, a few years ago, the, the um, stat mat. There are a lot of type, types of this of this solution, because obviously there's not just one um, company that is making this. But I think this was pretty good. When I used to have a top loader uh, CD transport, which was where you put the CDs on the top, this was an excellent solution. If you have the classic opening drawer CD where the drawer opens, you put your CD in and it go back goes back in. Do not use this. Do not use this because you, it's going to get jammed in. I'll show you. Um, although they, they they say you can try that, I do not suggest to do that because you this see this little thing. You have to put it on top of the CD and then it goes back in the drawer and sometimes it get jammed and then you have, you're going to have a real issue at that point. Although if you instead have a CD that uh, is top loaded, you can put this and clamp it and you'll have excellent results because this should diminish the problems created by uh, static electricity. In fact, in that video dedicated to static electricity, I also introduced the talisman, the Walker talisman, which is something I must say a little crazy because it's very expensive, but I'm, I just wanted to show you this again because it has strong magnets that somehow uh, decrease or eliminate totally electrostatic um, issues. And it's the same principle at the base of that little thing, that little mat that you put on top of the CD. So there is that, there is this problem. A lot of people think this is snake oil. I mean, it's, it's unreal, it's crazy. I think there is some benefits. Again, not something extreme, I would say. You ha there are some benefits, but nothing is extreme. Now we're gonna pass to our last, our fifth tip, which I think is the most effective, actually. Mm, the, probably the best of all these. Um, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Auric Illuminator. Oh yes. Uh, don't look this terrible, horrible um, uh, box. Uh, but the product in here, I must say, it truly makes a difference in while listening a CD. Um, this is practically a treatment. I bought this many years ago. I still have it. I still use it because there's a lot of liquid inside. Uh, it's, it's practically a combination of, L, of, of procedures you have to do to enhance the quality of the reproduction of your CD. And I'll try to show you what's the, what's the whole thing about of this 
Auric Illuminator. So the first thing you have to do is practically to get a CD. We're gonna hear it before and after. We're gonna listen to this excellent album by Taj Mahal M. Kutano. So let's take our CD. Okay. And the first part of a treatment, I'm just going to let it um, stay here so I have control, better control of the disc. The first thing we're going to do is to use the marker, the permanent marker, just a normal permanent marker actually, that's inside the kit. And um, you must practically color in black the external part of the CD. I don't know if you can see that but the practically just the, the border, the outer border has to be completely black and also, that's a little more tricky, the inner part. You have to do the same thing and it has to be completely black, black blackened out. Um, first though, before completing the, the, the whole process, I want to tell you what's going to happen because I want to do a sort of very rapid A and B test. So I don't want to complete the procedure. I, first, we're, I, we're going to listen to this before and after treatment. I just want to sh show you what you need to do for the rest. The rest of the treatment, you must put a few drops of this compound. Very simple. You have to kind of mush it around with the uh, piece of, of microfiber. Um, you just smudge it around. You let it dry. And then you clean it off and it, com it comes completely off. The first thing is going to completely clean um, perfectly the, su the surface of your CD. It will be perfectly clean and will take away all the dirt, all the, the your fingerprints, everything. It will be fantastic. And it, I don't know how it really truly enhances the audio reproduction. It's all connected practically to the way the laser reads pits. And, um, and holes and everything in your CD. So light is also greatly influencing the, the, the precision of this reading, hence the blackening of the surface inside and outside. So um, some people also suggest to blacken also this part to completely eliminate the passage of light, which um, does have an, a, a bad effect on the correct reading process of the CD. So these are all aspects, in fact, there's also a little mask here they give you in order to put it on top so you can blacken out also this part with precision. Obviously, at that point, you're going to change a little bit the face of your CD and not everyone wants to do that. I don't know if you remember the old PlayStation discs. A lot of them were completely black here and also the rim was black. And I think that's connected to the, to the optimizing of the readability of, of, the, of the CD medium. So as I said, before doing this treatment, let's try to listen for a few seconds, unfortunately, otherwise copyright issues are gonna kick in, to this um, CD. And I'm just gonna capture the audio from the microphone so you have reverberation, you're gonna have somehow um, an experience a little more um, connected to the environment here. Otherwise, it's more difficult if I do with just a simple transfer. You're not gonna feel that, the difference, I think at least. So let's just start for a few seconds this here to, to this album, which is fantastic. I highly recommend it to you. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, now let's take our CD and I obviously will skip a little bit, a few passages quickly, otherwise it's going to take forever. No, it's not that long actually, but it does, it does take some time. Okay, so let's start to blacken out the rim. Obviously the difficult part is to try to not to touch the part where the, uh, the media is, otherwise you're going to lose it with your permanent marker, you're going to erase it. So be careful in doing this process. I actually, on the, uh, in the instructions, they say that if you want, if you're not comfortable with this, you can skip this process. It's not 100% uh, required. The important part, obviously, is the liquid. But again, I mean, 
why not try the whole uh, process at least once. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna blacken the center part. I don't think that's fundamental. As I said, we're gonna put a few drops of this here. Look how much I've, I've used in years. This is gonna last your whole life. I don't remember how much this costs. I'll put a link obviously here below um, because I think it's still, it's still rather popular. I just put like three or four drops of it, as you can see. At this point, you get one of these little tissues and gently you smudge it around. See how it comes? It gets all a little dirty actually. It looks like almost like you poured soap or honey on it. Okay. At this point, we just want it a little bit to dry off and let's wait. Let's wait until it's a little bit dry. Okay, after a few seconds, the CD is already ready to be treated. As you can see, it still has, I think you can see it, it has all this little goo on it. We're gonna start in circles to remove that until the surface is perfectly crystal clear and polished, like a new CD, okay? Because it's really gonna come off immediately if you have this circular uh, rotation. Again, I hope you can see this. Now it's perfectly nice and clear, um, and we're gonna insert it in our CD player. And I hope you can hear the effect. If not, trust me, there is. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, so I'm sure I'm pretty sure it's very difficult to feel to hear the change through this the microphone of the um, of my camera and then compressed by YouTube, etc., etc. I mean, pff, you're, you're not gonna hear that. That's why I almost never do A B tests in my videos because it's just something that you have to live in person on the sofa on the couch in front of the system. Otherwise, you're not gonna hear that. I suggest you to at least try this last tip among all the others. Um, and also maybe probably the interconnects. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your feedback if you're gonna try this and if it had any uh, effects on your CDs, I'm pretty sure it's gonna have, but I wanna hear you. So please leave your comments to let me know what you think about this and also leave us some suggestions if you have other tips to enhance the playback of our darn CDs. Thank you guys, hope to see you soon, bye.